Got some real head hair going on there. Uh, but we're gonna work on the vinyl uh, chrome delete trim a little bit this evening. So we got a work in progress with the uh, chrome delete. We've redone, we've redone the grill. It's all dirty. Is where it is. This is uh, this is painted. I spray painted that. Pulled it off. Spray painted it. Worked out pretty well. This is um, 3M. 2080 gloss black strips that bought off eBay. I like it a lot better than the mat. And, uh, this is what the mat looks like right here in this piece, which I did poorly because you can see that. So yeah, that's this, this evening. All I'm really working on. I think I only have enough to do this and the other piece on the other side. Um, I got to do all the windows and all that, but I don't. I'm waiting for another another roll of that stuff to come in. So I got what's left of my 20 foot roll that I bought and started the front grill with. Should be enough for me to do the remaining, uh, redo that uh, remaining part of the grill. And uh, I got some rags because I'm gonna have to wipe everything down and get it clean before I, after I peel the old stuff off, the old matte AutoZone stuff off, wipe everything down. And I got my stash IPA because that's part of my diet. But uh, once you get a chunk of it off, get a hold of it. Doggy's been scratching at the door the whole time I've been outside, of course. Oh, doggies. Don't like it if I'm outside without them. So uh, in the process of peeling off the old uh, vinyl on the chrome, you leave behind a little bit of gunk, at least where I use my nails to work at an edge and then grab it and peel it off. So I'm going to use a rubbing alcohol and a microfiber to wipe it down. Alright, so I got everything peeled off, it's all stuff down here, now you can see the part in question. How to use uh, this to like get little pieces that were left over out of here, and then uh, I used a uh, rubbing alcohol and a rag to uh, wipe it all down. So I cut a strip to size for this chrome piece right here, and uh, started it over the edge right there, pressing over the top of it, not stretching it too much, but keeping it nice and tight and slowly kind of unsliding the back like this and using my thumb to press down and uh, press that into place. And at the in end of the initial placement of that piece, it's overlapping the whole way, just pressed on the front and it's hanging off the edge. And then I'll trim and start Tucking it is my best so far. It seems like my best choice is to use one of these things to work on this edge. Because if I do my thumbnail, I'll, my thumbnail will actually cut through this stuff a little bit short and leave a tiny silver gap. Like, I don't know, it's hard to see. It's actually hard to capture, but it's on there. There's a tiny silver gap. And you can see that right there. Now I got the edge pressed in. This doodad all the way along. See it? Oh, focus, focus. So we got a better edge pressed in there. Now I'm gonna trim the ends to fit with this that I picked up at Lowe's. It was the nicer option of these uh, break-off types of blades that they had at Lowe's. So I cut the end of this piece a little bit long with this. I'm not gonna use the tip of this to lift up this remaining piece before I peel it off. And then I've got to hang it kind of loose like that with some space to wrap around the end. Keep in mind this is like, I'm still a noob at this vinyl stuff, but so what I'm doing now on my, I don't know, third or so attempt is uh, I've laid this on here, I've pressed it in as much as I can, and then I'm going at, at an angle this way 
as high as I can manage it along this edge to trim the extra so that there will be a little overlap I can reach back and tuck because you know this is a separate piece in this I don't want there to be a gap showing silver so trimming it at that angle instead of this angle that angle and deep leaving a little bit of overlap if I can to tuck in there I'm gonna trim all the way down now I'm just carefully gently so it doesn't break because it breaks easy pull the extra off all the way down um, uh, McDonald's and dogs where's the doggies? oh there's that doggy what are you doing? what are you doing? so this part's more complicated I cut one the right length and then this time instead of doing two pieces uh, which looked horrible. I'm gonna try, I'm gonna really try to bend this one around that corner. I'm gonna try to focus on the top edge and the and just flattening it around that and then bend everything under the edge afterwards, hopefully. We will see how that goes, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna really try to do it with one piece. This is already looking better than the first time I tried it. This was difficult though. I mean, I had to do peel back and it's not perfect, but I did manage to stretch and bend that piece all the way around that this time instead of doing it in more than one piece. And uh, this, I think it's the 2080. This looks kind of interesting. I, I don't, uh, you know, I don't obviously have much experience, but kind of like you, once you break it, part of it loose, you get it tucked in, you've done most of your poking, and then you can do this, and you can peel that outer layer off, which I, you know, I guess keeps you from scratching it. I don't know. Uh, it might make it harder to lay. I'm not sure. I haven't tried the regular uh, 3M, like the 1080, I guess. But a handy dandy cobalt uh, LED to light up a little area there. And uh, here I'm just using this furry thing, which and to just poke up, try to poke up every little edge I can before I go up in there and try to trim anything with the uh, exact knife. All right, here we got my first bendy turny try. It's not bad. I mean, it's gonna do for now. Um, one, one piece around a bend. My problem is I did end up with a little bit of folding down here, a little bit of creases. That's not gonna be visible. That's like very low on the car. No one's gonna see it. I'm pretty happy that it's just not got a crease in it right here like the last one did, a little, a little seam. It's a good scratch very easy. It does look like a good scratch pretty easy. Uh, but yeah, I'm happy with that, that looks good. Keep on going. Okay, now we're doing this side and we didn't get creases the same way. So that was an improvement. However, I cut it short on that corner and that's freaking annoying, but it's not gonna be visible, so. Continuing on, we just got uh, that piece there and then on the other side and then that's uh, it for the front end. The straight pieces are much easier. Uh, I mean, that one's gonna be probably about perfect. All right, get that done. That strip around that corner. Yeah, it's all looking pretty decent there. And on this side, now it's gloss instead of matte. I got some more in the mail. Um, I didn't realize I ordered wider than I did the last time. I think last time I got an inch and a half and this is two inches, two and a half inches, I don't know. Um, it's wider, but that's fine. Uh, yeah, I, I ran out of, I ran out of vinyl at the end of uh, that last bit there and been waiting for more. So I don't know, it's a week later or something. And I already pulled off the uh, driver's side um, matte stuff. About to uh, clean it up with some some rubbing alcohol, and then uh, go about putting on the gloss 2080. You can see how bad my uh, I messed up some spots on this before, and like these corners are wrinkly and a little exposed in there. Random wrinkle right there, and that is just horrible. Um, but I think I've already learned enough where I can at least get a, a couple of notches better on this try.
Just got the uh, first piece laid on there. Still got to do all the trimming. Uh, I wasted one piece on my first try. This one went on nice though, so time to trim it. The stuff is um, a little more than twice as thick as I need for for around the doors. Ooh, look at that. Con didn't adjust. Wow. Um, so I cut a piece, you know, to length, and then I just split it with the scissors. Uh, Cause I'm trying not to waste this stuff. It's not exactly cheap. Got uh, half the side done. I've been really taking my time. And uh, I mean, it's so much better than what I did the last time. And this stuff, this uh, 2080, is way thinner than that AutoZone stuff was. It bends easier. It tucks into little nooks and crannies easier. Um, it does scratch pretty easy. So, so uh, you gotta be careful with it, but looking good. So shiny. Got most of this side done. Turned out quite nice. Get in there. There you can see the mat on the top and the shiny on the bottom. Much prefer the shiny. Done. And just did a little quick wash so we can just do some, some shots of what it looks like. I guess a couple of notes from a total uh, vinyl noob. I mean, this is only the second type of vinyl I've worked with. The first one was uh, AutoZone matte stuff. It's probably twice as thick as this. And, and also, because this is the 2080, this has a thin protective layer over it that you peel off. Like a clear coat that you peel off of it. Which was weird. I didn't actually know it was going to be on there. Um, I mean, I don't, I don't really know how it compares to the one without it. I know this, like you can really see the little air, uh, channels. If you look at the back of it, when it, when it's peeled off, you know what? I'll just, all right, it. there we go. You see all that texture. I guess that's the air channels or something that allow air bubbles to escape easily. It did seem like it was fairly easy to get the air out of this stuff. Um, the other thing I'll say is it's way thinner than that AutoZone stuff. And uh, it was way easier to bend around edges and to tuck in little crevices. It was way easier to do that. 